Hey, my name is Jordan Scoutum, and this is my Subaru Outback. Let's take a little tour and see how I converted it into a full-time travel vehicle. And I got this rooftop tent, I got a sweet cooking area, and I also am able to sleep inside the car if I need to. So let's see how I fit it all inside of this package. Okay, I figured let's just start front to back because why not keep it simple? Um, this first off to give an overview of the car, this is a 2010 Subaru Outback. Um, I really love this body style. The reason I picked 2010 is because that's the first year that they slightly got the, um, the back side is a little taller. And I, if I remember right, it's a little longer as well, which I really enjoy and appreciate while living out of this. Um, <clears throat> I also have a two inch lift kit as well as some slightly bigger tires for some off-roading and just getting into rowdier places. Um, let's see. So, and then as far as like storage for the passengers, or sorry, the driver's side, um, I have this little cubby over here that has like a mask and some quick access to some GoPro stuff, as well as a, like a tire pressure reader. Um, and then steering wheel, nothing changed. Uh, this is a manual transmission, so I can't have a whole lot of stuff right in this area. Um, but I do have a Spotify car thing, which I just recently got, and it just like lets me skip music and change playlists and all that stuff without opening my phone, which is pretty sweet. But I do have easy access to my phone with this windshield mounted, um, it's like a wireless charger. So I just plug in uh, this little system and I can just snap my phone in and it's charging, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much it for the driver's side. Let's skip over to the passenger side and it gets a little more interesting. Okay, so I generally travel alone in this car, um, even though like if I do travel with friends, they usually have their own rig. So. Um, I mean, the passenger seat is not super valuable to me at most times, but I do love to have it easily, like, clean up a bowl so that I can have friends in. Um, so I usually try to keep just backpacks here so that I can just throw them in the back if I need to. Um, so, like, right now I have my water bottle here. Um, I also keep my camera backpack here, which is a very key element. Um, I have super quick access to my all my camera gear. So if I, like, see a cool sunset, I can just pull over the road take a picture really fast, which is awesome. Uh, additionally, I have my laptop backpack. So this is whenever I go to coffee shops, this has everything I need in it. Has a quick like SSD slash hard drive if I need to do any photo editing. Has my laptop, has my charger, has some cords. Anything that I would need to take into a coffee shop is in here so that I can quickly pack all that up. Um, I also have some just miscellaneous stuff. Um, I have a couple of lights just for easy access uh, at the moment. They kind of roam around the whole car in reality, but right now they're up here. Um, this is a cool little string light, which just pops out, and then I can hang them around wherever I want. I think they're like 10 feet long, uh, and they're also solar powered, which is sweet. Um, additionally, on the solar powered topic, I have this, like, uh, my friends call it a fishbowl light, but it's basically uh, just like a really cool light that's able to diffuse really effectively and light up in a large area. Um, I got this before the fairy lights. I am now a huge fan of the fairy lights. <laughs> okay, uh, in the side drawer, I have a tripod mount if I ever need to take photos. I mean, I have some electrical tape. I have some quarters if I ever need to do laundry. And then I also have duct tape, which is pretty sweet. I mean, that's really that uh, all of these things I need quick access to and so that's why they're here and easy to get to. In this drawer I have a bunch of paperwork and stuff but I also keep my drone controller and extra battery in here um, which is nice for just some quick easy access as well. And then additionally let me move the camera for this one. So uh, this inverter I got from Walmart um, it's up to 400 watts if you plug it directly into your car battery I usually, I don't think I've ever used that. In fact, I think I lost the cords to do that. But um, right now it's in, it just plugs into a cigarette lighter, which is really nice. And this thing charges electronics way faster than any of the other things I'm able to plug into my car, which is awesome. Um, additionally with the inverter, I'm able to plug my laptop in it. And as long as my car's running and this is plugged in, I can have my laptop fully powered and charging while I'm using it, which allows for just like higher performance and all that. So I'm able to fully edit photos if I need to on the roof, but I usually tend to go to coffee shops just because they're in reality more comfortable.
<clears throat> um, so we also have um, my drone and then just some like miscellaneous cords. So I, all my charging cables, I try to keep in here so that I know where they are. Um, I also got like a check engine read, uh, like it plugs into your car and you can read your check engine light. Uh, it's easy, it's nice to know if something's wrong with your car and what it is, I can diagnose on the road, which is nice. Um, and then more electrical tape, because you can never have too much electrical tape. Um, and then I also have my uh, camera battery charger, which is nice. This, uh, I try to keep my batteries, at least two batteries on here at all times, so that I can always have batteries charged. And that is it for the front area. Now let's move into the back. Things get a little more exciting back here. I built out this platform and let's kind of see wh how I did it, why I did it like I did it, and how I fit everything. Okay, so this is the uh, driver's side back door. Middle door? I don't know, there's the trunk as well, but um, I got this bucket. This is, I consider this my emergency bucket. Um, it's just a normal bucket and then they make these like lids that are waterproof, which is pretty sweet. I when I went on a rafting trip, I brought this along with me and kept all my like camera gear and stuff. Um, I just keep like general emergency stuff in here. I have jumper cables, which aren't actually in here at the moment. They're right here. But I also have like a hoodie. I have a first aid kit and just general emergency stuff. One cool thing that I do have in here that you might not know about is a little battery pack that is able to jump start my car. So if I ever like leave my light bar on or leave something on and drain my car battery way out in the woods, I'm able to jump start my car all by myself, which is really vital for even just peace of mind. It's totally worth it. Um, looking back in here, I also have <clears throat> my longboard, which I haven't been riding much this year, but I really enjoy longboarding when I have a good area to do it in. And then let's see, uh, my Subaru is getting older, so it's starting to burn oil. So I have a bunch of extra oil cans in here. Um, I also have like my climbing harness, I have, let's see, I have my dirty laundry basket. Um, I also store my insulation, window insulation on right under my bed platform. <clears throat> and so these, I'm able to flip them in either side. Um, so this, in theory, I don't know if this totally works, but the black should absorb heat and slightly warm up the car. And the silver side should be reflecting the heat and to keep it a little cooler inside. I don't know if it really works that way, but I built it that way. And e even if it doesn't work that way, the insulation is this little, uh, I don't know what it's called. I think it's like Reflectix or something. Um, this insulation, I do notice a noticeable change when I put these in, especially in the winter. <clears throat> and so these, I cut them out myself. It's just a, a layer of cardboard, some fabric, and then the Reflectix. And I cut them out right to my window shape so they pop in and hold themselves in. Um, so yeah, those are really sweet. Uh, additionally, they provide privacy, which is awesome. <clears throat> Let's see. I also have my front windshield cover. If I'm going like full stealth mode, I'm able to cover up all of my windows with the, with the insulation, as well as my front windshield with this, and then nobody can really see anything that's going on, which is nice for like a Walmart parking lot. <sighs> Let's see. Um, on this side, I try to keep, uh, right now it's kind of a mess, but I try to keep food on this side and then sleeping stuff on the other side, especially in the winter when I'm sleeping inside of here, it's really vital to be able to um, separate that area so you don't have to reorganize it every time you get in. Um, so this side I have like, I have my cooler on this side, which we'll see from the back, but I also have like a snack bin, which has like some tortillas and some cliff bars and stuff like that. Um, I also have a box of ramen in here that I bought a while ago. And yeah, so this side is just all like snacks and stuff like that. Um, I do have this platform, which you may have noticed, but I'll talk about that more in the back side where I can kind of show it better. Okay, the passenger's rear door. Um, I like to keep some shoes right here. That's my go-to spot for those. Um, I also have like a book down here as well as some coats and stuff like that. Um, this is kind of more my, uh, I guess warmth side. So when I need a stealth camp, or I know that I'm gonna be sleeping in like a Walmart or someplace that I can't necessarily pop my rooftop tent, I have a tri-fold mattress that will fit right in here and it uh, folds out and goes all the way from the back to the front and I can sleep on that. Right now, I don't have that in here because I've been sleeping in my rooftop tent. But um, I have like my sleeping bag. Um, this, this style of rooftop tent doesn't close with 
um, sleeping stuff in it. So I have like my sleeping bag and my pillow and stuff like that right here. And that's basically it for up here. Um, down in here, I have this cool little bag that I've been collecting my stickers in. So as I travel around, I just uh, buy a sticker here and there and throw it in this bag. So whenever I get a new Nalgene or anything that I want to throw stickers on, I can just run through this and find some sweet stickers. I also have this quick access Titan strap. You never know what you'll need to strap down. I mean, that's pretty much it for the side pocket. They're not huge, they don't fit a lot. <laughs> Um, as far as down here in like the footwell or what would be the footwell, I have, I have my, um, these are my clean clothes. And then I also have some like products that I need to do shoots for. Uh, these are some freeze dry meals. And then, um, I also have a, it's kind of wedged in there at the moment, but I have a hard case, like a, a Pelican case with a backup camera in it. It's just my old camera and I kept it in case my new one failed or something on a shoot. Um, I, I almost never use it because it is my backup camera, but um, I have it just in case. And I might be selling it sometime soon, we'll see. This door never likes to open. I don't know what I did to it, but a couple months ago, it just stopped opening. As soon as I get it open, we'll be able to see the backside. <laughs> one second. Ooh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> bumpy roads always make things fall out. Um, okay, so the kind of layout that I have here, um, we'll go over my platform that I built first. Um, so this is a plywood board that is screwed onto some two by four legs. Um, it has two legs back here, has two legs in the middle, and then two legs up there that go into the foot wells. Um, and so I made it so that I'm able to pick up the end section. It's cut, the plywood board is cut in half. And so I'm able to pick up the front section and slide it onto here. And I'm able to fold up the back row of seats. And so I'm able to have like full access to my car, even with the bed system. So I don't have to totally take out my bed in order to fit three more people, which is pretty sweet. Um, it definitely takes a little bit of cleaning, but other than that, it pops right out. <clears throat> so let's see, um, over here I have my camping chair. Whenever I have friends over or I don't want to sit right here, I pack out this packing chair or camping chair. Um, I also have this cool little portable blender that I found. Um, ooh, it does have battery right now. It is a cool addition that I have used every once in a while and when I use it, I enjoy it. Let's see. Um, I, additionally with the platform, I, I screwed on some drawer like like standard drawer rails, and I made this little pull-out cooking area. So I'm able to, I'm able to pull out my stove and do some cooking right here whenever I need, which is pretty sweet. It's like a quick access, like you saw how quick that was. And um, I'm ready to cook whatever I want to cook. Um, and then I also have um, this case, this is getting a little dirty at the moment, but um, I have this case that holds like, I have a pot and pan system. And then I also have like some spices like sriracha sauce and some soy sauce and like salt and pepper and like a, like a spatula and stuff. So that's where all my cooking stuff goes. And then I have two more of these tubs that slide behind um, this tub as well as the uh, cooker. And those tubs just like have a bunch of food in them. So like ramen, rice, noodles, uh, whatever's easy to cook on the road. There's a bunch of stuff back there, some potatoes. Um, and yeah, over here, uh, this is kind of devolved into my trash corner. <laughs> um, that's where I nicknamed it. I just have this bag here that I just throw trash in and then I empty it out whenever it gets full. That kind of takes up the whole corner over here which is unfortunate for space, but it works out good. Um, so yeah, that's my cooking area. This is where I spend most of my time when I'm, when I'm out in the woods. Um, right here is a comfortable seat. I also have this spaced pretty nicely, so I can sit right here really comfortably. And it's very, I, I really like how this turned out. Um, I'll maybe do another video with a more in-depth instructions on how I built this platform, um, because it was, it took a lot of time. It was kind of complicated, but I really love how it turned out. 
Okay, now let's get up into the rooftop tent and just give you a quick little overview of what it is, how I like it, and why I spent so much money on it. Okay, actually, full transparency, I didn't actually pay for this. Um, Roof Nest sent it to me for some content deals, and I take photos of it and send them content. So I am potentially a little biased, but I do, I'm a huge fan of this design. It is a Roof Nest Falcon 2, and it has this cool little, uh, some external features. It has this rain tarp, um, which is held out by these things. It also has these bug proof, um, like, windows, I guess you would call them. So you can have access to seeing outside without getting attacked by mosquitoes, which is a very common thing when you're outdoors, a lot. Um, but it also has access to a full blackout system. So you can zip up this other thing and fully black out the inside. So like, if I was in there right now and close that up, I wouldn't be able to see a thing. It would be pitch black, which is really cool. And I appreciate that so that I can sleep in a little bit and just like, I don't know, enjoy like, enjoy my sleep better. I don't have to wake up at six o'clock when the sun comes up, which is nice. Um, so this roof nest comes with this memory foam mattress. Uh, I, it's like two or three inches thick, as well as this anti-condensation sheet, which um, I have never had problems with condensation in here. So I guess it works. <laughs> um, it also has, I'll, I'll give you a better view of this, but it also has this cool pocket system up here which I keep my journal in here and like my toothbrush so that I have easy access to those items. And this tent is able to close with some small items in these pockets, which is awesome. Um, it also has this see-through pocket up here, which might seem like, why would there be a see-through pocket? But um, I don't know if this is an official use, but the thing, the use that I've found for it <clears throat> is being able to stick my phone in there and I can lay down in bed and watch movies, which is really sweet. Um, being able to like watch a movie hands-free. So here's that pocket system. Um, here's the see-through pocket, and as well as my, I keep my journal in here, which is sweet. It's really nice to be able to like have easy access to a journal so that I can remember to do that every night. Otherwise, I tend to forget. <laughs> um, additionally, it has this light system in here, which just plugs into an external battery. So like a battery pack that you use to charge your phone, you can just plug into these um, USB cables and have really cool lights in here. Um, honestly, these lights are so nice looking. This is one of my favorite places to do product shoots because, I mean, it's hard to beat how nice these lights are. <clears throat> Not even over-exaggerating. <laughs> okay, so that's my adventure vehicle. Um, I really love it so far. I really like the Subaru Outback um, like design, and it really is integrated with my lifestyle super well, um, which is super according to say, but I really like it. Um, the rooftop tent was a wonderful addition that I just added this summer. I'm still getting used to it a little bit, but I really like it so far. Um, this winter, my car changes a couple things. Um, as I said earlier, I put in the bed and um, I tend to sleep inside in the winter purely because it is a lot harder to sleep inside of a rooftop tent in a Walmart parking lot. Um, you tend to get kicked out more often and that's just not something I want to be dealing with. So um, in the winter, I will probably be sleeping a lot more inside. Um, additionally, I have a skybox that goes on top of my Subaru. I can show you a picture. Um, and I, that's where I keep like skis and my emergency bucket and all like that kind of stuff in the winter so that I have more room inside of my car to sleep. But my rooftop tent does have bars that you can see on the top. And so I am able to keep bikes on top or skis or anything that I want to keep on top if I do want to do those kind of adventures in the summer. <clears throat> okay, so that's, that's my car, that's my lifestyle. If you want to check out another video, I'm going to be going over my camera backpack. Um, as soon as I get it uploaded, I'll link it right here. Thanks for watching. Oh, that was good. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Let's go watch it.